to the Rose Garden. Of course, you already know. I'm Nikki Dixon, and I'm super excited to be back here with yet another vibe session for my family. Today, we're going to be having a talk with self. About what? We're going to have a talk with self about conserving our energy, self-awareness, and self-accountability. Do we have that? Do we know what that is? Do we know what that looks like? Do we know how to conserve our energy? And what I mean by that is, well, in this standpoint, do we know how to pick and choose our battles? Do we know when something just doesn't deserve your response and energy? Oftentimes, we see that um, we have a rebuttal about everything. We have an argument to negate another argument. And sometimes that takes a lot of our energy and our time. And um, yeah, it just doesn't have to be like that, guys. Um, when it comes to conserving our energy, we are in such a reactionary time especially with social media from facebook to instagram we can respond to anything by the click of a thumb and um we have to kind of learn how to draw that in a little and understand that um we have to learn the art of detachment detachment from our thoughts and the thoughts of others why? Because we don't have to believe everything that goes on in here. Even our own thoughts don't deserve our attention and energy. So, with that being said, how do we do that? Well, it's simple. We just take a second to really think. Think and ask ourselves, Am I going to care about this in the next five minutes, the next five days, five weeks, so forth and so on? Is it that important to you to where you really have to stop and have a rebuttal to it? Everything isn't that serious. Our own thoughts are not that serious. And in that, when we take the time to stop and ask ourselves, well, do I really care about this subject matter? Only then can we, you know, practice the art of detachment. Not even detachment, but just practicing the art of not responding to everything. Like even if you have to take the cliche action of taking a minute to breathe, then do that because it takes us one less step away from letting our ego be over our soul and with that we will see that oftentimes when we have a rebuttal for something it is nine times out of ten because our ego was hurt and our ego is hurt because we we spend so much time thinking that our thoughts alone are the pure facts our ego thinks that we have all the answers when when in actuality true wisdom will teach us that we know nothing at all because we live in a theory based society everything is a theory until we take that action that that first step to dig a little deeper and then and then and then even see if that's a thought that resonates with our thoughts our beliefs and values everything is a theory everything is hypothetical our own thoughts and the thoughts of others and when we take the time to acknowledge and really think about that we will see that 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 whoa tongue tied we will see that it's all about our level of understanding as well as our level of perspective. Everything is hypothetical in theory according to what we, I'm sorry, according to our level of perspective and understanding. Level of perspective and understanding. 
understanding. When we take the time to figure out what resonates with us deeply and solely, that's when we can put our level of perspective and understanding at a balanced level to see, okay, so is this theory or factual to me? Now, if something is factual to you according to your perspective and understanding, that does not necessarily mean that that it is theory and factual for the next person because they may be on a whole nother level than you. Not and then not to say that it's above or under yours, that's just life. Everybody's at a different time and path along their journey. And that's okay. That's cool. Now, if you can't have a simple conversation where you can politic on how these things come together to make a bigger picture, or if they're polar opposites, then it's not worth your time and energy. If you cannot have a simple adult conversation, it's not worth your time and energy. And that doesn't mean that you have to argue about it. You agree to disagree and you conserve your energy. Along my journey, I have learned to keep quiet. If, if I'm with someone or a group of people and it is clear that our levels of perspective and and understanding are totally different i just listen i observe i i take it in and then if i find somewhere where i can put my two cents in i will but if not i just listen until somebody asks me and then i may give them my true and honest opinion but will i argue Absolutely not because it is not worth your time and energy to get your feathers all ruffled and then now your chakras are totally imbalanced. It's a waste of time and energy that we may never get back. Simple as that. And then when we take that time to have the self-awareness and the self-accountability to really think about okay so is this worth worth my time or not then our actions and things will change we will be more content with how we feel we will be more content and at peace period because we haven't given away so much of our energy conserve your energy and protect your peace that is how you change the or around you that is how you stay balanced within that is how you start to change how you move in the streets and in your life in the streets that sounds so funny that is how you change how you maneuver in your your day-to-day -day life because because you will be less quick to anger you will be able to listen a little bit more to make the proper judgment on if this is something that you should give your energy to. And if not, you walk away with your head held high, chest out, and you are good. That shifts your, your, your karmic energy and everything in your life. And, and uh, not karma as far as what, you know, you know that, that saying what uh, comes around goes around, no. Karma is what you send out, you will receive good or bad. It doesn't have to be that same way, shape, or form. But if you send out love and positivity and, you know, patience and understanding and clear listening, people will give that to you in return. And then you'll be able to have great conversations where, where uh, you build off of each other that is what helping and sharing is about Con conserving your energy actively listening and being re and, and being responsible for yourself in your researching of what resonates with you and in your day-to-day -day conversations with other people
that is my tidbit and my spill for today that is my vibe session let me know if this resonates with you if it's not we can politic um thank you for sharing liking subscribing thank you for the love the energy the understanding and the understanding now my